Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to be doing something a little bit different. In this video, instead of a tutorial, we're going to actually be making something. Or, well, with an AI. But this isn't any ordinary AI. Well, it kind of is. But it's specifically for Roblox Studio. So it's only trained to get information about Roblox Studio nothing else so it's made to be smarter than stuff like chat gpt or any other ai of that sort at least when it comes to roblox studio but to find this on uh, ai join the roblox studio developing on um, discord server in the description and there will be an ai help channel and for the first five days of this AI being public, which it was released today, so four more days if you're seeing this video, since I usually upload pretty late. But for the first five days of this AI being public, it's going to be completely free and no cost. And after those five days, there is going to be a free version, but there's going to be a question limit. So only 10 questions every 30 minutes. So. If the AI doesn't fix your problem in 10 responses, well, gotta wait the hour or give me 5 bucks. That's how it goes. But the paid version will not only be able to do or have no question limit, but there will be no cooldown when talking to it. And there will also be access to more complex questions since the free version, it's not going to be able to do all the most complex things or not the biggest requests, only some smaller ones. So let's go ahead and get started. As you can see, I have Roblox Studio open back here. And um, we're just gonna make some pretty simple simulator type game. So if you see here, the title can be anything in our post. Make sure you go into one of the forums once you join the Roblox Studio developing server. This message here is your prompt. It can be anything you could put, hey, but if it isn't related to Roblox Studio, well, it's not going to respond to you because, well, we don't want to be asking it how to make a bomb or how to bake a potato because um, unless you're trying to bake a potato in Roblox Studio, he ain't going to help you. So everything has to be related to Roblox Studio or he's just not going to respond to you. So let's, let's, let's give it a little bit of a prompt here and make sure your prompts are detailed. I'm just going to in this other Make sure your prompts are more detailed if you want better responses from the AI. The more information you give him, the more information he gives you. That's how it goes. It's a fair trade-off. So make sure you give him good information and a good prompt so he understands what he got to do and how he got to do it. So since we're making some simple simulator, let's say, can you make a simple leader script with coins and a multiplier? Every second, the player gets one coin times their multiplier stat, and every 10 seconds, they get, let's say, one multiplier. And make sure every everything saves. Once the player leaves, it saves, then loads back in when they join using data store. So this is a pretty simple prompt. Let's go ahead and hit post. Once he detects that it's Roblox Studio related, he's going to start thinking. And make sure you talk to the AI like he's your friend. I mean, he's going to be one of your best friends when it comes to Roblox Studio development. I mean, which one of your friends responds to you instantly? That's what I thought. So talk to him like he's your best friend. Don't just say, make me leader stat script. You know what? Make a prompt, even add please in there. Talk to him like he's a human, because after all, he is trained off of human information, so he might as well be human. So make sure you give it a nice prompt, make sure it's not vague, make sure he can actually understand. Like, make it a prompt you could understand, basically. So if someone told you all of this, you would know what to do, you would know what to make, and how it should be. So we're just going to let him do a little bit of thinking. He's not always going to be 100% accurate, obviously. He's still a robot. He isn't human, but he's pretty close to one. Well, close enough, but he's not going to be 100% accurate. But to be fair, he's doing the thinking and you're just waiting. So he's letting you take a break. Oh, as you can see, 
he has given us our response and make sure you give us some feedback because well as it says right here feedback will improve future responses because the more I know how good it's working the more I can update it to make sure it's better the next time so he made us a script and if the code is sent in two separate messages all you gotta do go up here and where you see this um, I'm not sure what these are called I kind of forgot but these little three lines or dots in Lua copy below it and just go all the way down until you see another two or three dots at the bottom and just right click it and hit copy or you can press Control C and now let's head back to Roblox Studio so this is a leader stats script we're going to go into server script service and this is part of my plugin so my bad I'm just going to delete this and then in service to service I'm going to hit the plus I'm going to insert my script and I'm going to paste in what the AI gave me now you may see some yellow um, little markers over here that's because there are some issues the AI does tend to forget like the I inside of loops or whatever you put for your own um, for how that's called but sometimes he does forget to put that before the comma so you might want to fill that in and if it does send it in two separate messages make sure you just um go into here and like hit backspace because sometimes if it sends in two separate messages it's going to cut code in half so just make sure you do that so now we should have our script right here i'm just going to rename this to leader stats Make sure you guys always rename your scripts because the more organized your place is, the easier it is to make updates. And it's just overall more pleasant to look at than a bunch of things called script in part. It's not as fun looking at that. So let's go ahead and give this a try. See if he's made a base game in one try. It's not always going to be one try, but sometimes it will. So we're getting one coin every second as we asked and we should be getting well we aren't getting any multiplier but we will ask him to see what's up with that um let's go ahead and change our multiplier value so let's just go to player and let's go to a multiplier let's just set it to five let's go back and it is multiplying by our multiplier value just as we have asked now since it is a pretty small issue that isn't working we could always look in the code ourselves but this is a video about using the AI so it's just probably this part that isn't working and while I do see why I'm gonna ask him to help out so let's go ahead and hit stop and well we did ask for it to save our stats so just making sure that I have API access on and let's hit play one more time let's see if it does save our stats or maybe we have to ask him to make sure to fix that up we're going to load back into here and as you can see our data is saved we got 150 coins still and our four, 5 multiplier so now we are going to ask him what's the matter with our multiplier gain like hello we aren't getting anything every 10 seconds and that's the goal so let's head back to discord over here and i'm gonna give him i'm gonna give him a thumbs up he did pretty good he pretty much did 100 percent of what i asked just a tiny little mistake now if you guys want the best results back what you should do is you should go and copy either the entire code or the part that you think the issue is at which I think the issue is here where it's gaining or where it's not gaining every 10 seconds so copy the code here you can right click and press copy or you can press ctrl c on your keyboard head back to discord and for better results just paste in your code just so he knows what you're working with in case he forgets because like some people with memory it's not always the best and he might forget what we're talking about so there is one issue i think it's in this code snippet the player isn't gaining any multiplier every 10 seconds everything else works so we're just gonna give him that and we're gonna say i think it's in this code snippet just so he doesn't only look through this because Sometimes he doesn't think to go back and check what he sent and he's only going to focus here So if the issue isn't here, then well, that's kind of on our part Kind of on his part, whatever you want to say So I'm going to get back to you guys once he's responded since he's going to take a little bit of time Well, it's a little bit faster than I expected, but he has actually responded And so let's see here You could always read what he says, but 
I am not going to because why not so what we're gonna do he sent us our give multiplier function I'm gonna go ahead and copy this I'm gonna go back to our code sometimes he won't understand your request just a little bit of a warning and I'm just going to replace this multiplier function with this one which yeah not much has changed but we're gonna give him the benefit of the doubt and hope that he understood what the issue was I'm gonna copy this true loop right here go back to studio and we're just gonna replace this right here and it does appear to be the same exact thing so I'm not sure much is gonna change here but let's give it a try either way since right now we're gonna rely 100% on the AI no using our actual brain power since this AI is meant to make things easier for us let's go ahead and just chill right here since we do have to wait 10 seconds to actually gain multiplier you can always dance oh. so I'm guessing it has been 10 seconds but we still haven't gained any multiplier so we're just gonna make sure he understands what the problem is it's not it's part of the loop that's the problem at least pretty sure so we're just gonna head back to discord and that's just gonna say oh, I'm just giving him a little oh I should give him a thumbs down not good always give honest feedback because it will help us out a lot in the future sorry for that little bit of a cut there we had a little bit of a disturbance but um what we are gonna do is since we know our issue is probably in our while true loop over here we're just gonna mention it the player isn't gaining any multiplier every 10 seconds I think the issue is in the wall true loop when checking if 10 seconds has passed maybe try changing that so if you think you know where the issue is always mention it to him because like for example I think the issue is here but I don't know how to fix it so he's just gonna do that for you he's gonna consider your idea so make sure you always help him out since he's helping you out so since I think the issue is around here in our wall true loop just mentioning that to him so he can check out that area of code and hopefully fix it so he's just gonna load up a little bit I will get back to you once he has responded so we have gotten our response also I have focused on this specific forum because I'm probably not going to make any new ones but let's go ahead and click copy on our code let's go back to Roblox studio let's go to our script and do remember closing and let's replace our wall true code right here and now let's go ahead and give this a try see if everything is functioning as intended and see if we have the base of our game working so we are gaining coins every few seconds and as you can see we just gain multiplier so we keep waiting should gain more multiplier just gonna wait as you can see now we're getting seven and we're gaining seven coins per second so now we have the base of our simulator done so this is like the very bare basics now What's the simulator without UI? Let's at least make some coins little UI over here that's abbreviated because well we don't like seeing long numbers that we don't understand. So let's go back to Discord. Let's ask our trusty old power right here a question. Let's say, can you make me a local script to put in a text label that will display the player's coins leader stat abbreviated? and update it when the coins value is changed so we're just going to ask it that since that is what we want and let's or i will get back to you guys once he is done thinking so our ai has given us our response and as you can see here we have some pretty simple abbreviations so what we're going to do can give some feedback but we're just gonna copy this code and let's head to roblox studio and i need to actually make our ui because why well, do that so in start a gui i'm just gonna delete this i'm gonna hit the plus i'm gonna insert a screen gui make sure you name your stuff i'm gonna name it main i'm gonna hit the plus i'm gonna insert a text label you can put it right on the side in the center 
I'm just gonna make the text scaled and I'm just gonna make a little bit fancy just give it a nice little font and now we're just gonna name this coins and we're gonna hit the plus and insert a local script and now we're just gonna paste this code in here and I'm not sure if this is actually something that exists but we're gonna find out if not it's just a small little typo he added value which isn't really something we need to go to the AI for but we always could let's just name this coins update and let's go ahead and try this out so we're gonna hit play and I'm pretty sure I named the leader stack coins I kind of forgot what it was named as but um, let's see oh there is one or oh, there's actually a few tiny issues let's go ahead and hit stop and address these issues um, my apologies for the code not working right there <laughs> that's actually my plugins fault I have a plugin that messes with leader stats and I may or may not have forgot to disable that while recording so that kind of interfered with the leader stats script so that wasn't even the AI's fault that was completely my fault which I'm sorry AI I didn't mean to blame you buddy he see he's smarter than me it wasn't even his fault but as you can see this is updated and showing coins and let's just let's just wait till we get a thousand it's a pretty simple idle simulator game not too fancy but not too bad either so I'm just gonna jump around we can always dance dancing is pretty cool wait till we get a thousand coins we can also we can always ask it to add more features like a little pop-up effect heck we can make it make us an entire shop if we want we just gotta make sure we do it in parts don't ask it to do too much in one go as Right now, it doesn't do the most complex or, I guess, longer tasks. But as you can see, we have hit a thousand, and it's abbreviated to say 1K. Now 1.1K, since this rounded up is 1.1K. So we've made a pretty simple simulator. Sorry for the little cut in the middle of the video and that small error or mistake I made with my plugin. I'm gonna make sure to make sure the plugin doesn't do that again. But um, if you'd like to use this AI, it will be inside of my Roblox Studio Development Discord server. You can find that in the description. This is the server right here. If we go to the channels and we go to AI Help, then we can always make a new um, forum right here or thread and ask it a question. So this will sometimes go down in the next few days because I'm going to be obviously updating it and making sure it works as smoothly as possible and make sure that it's not or it's more accurate so that will go down occasionally but very rarely and once it's gone or once the paid version is released we're gonna make sure that it only goes down maybe once a month for new updates or fixes unless we have an actually good update so I hope you guys enjoyed this video we made a pretty simple simulator with a pretty handy AI as you can see 2.4k right there we still gaining pretty good it honestly is a basic simulator probably something I would grind because I mean what's better than a time waster so once again I'm sorry for that little um, hiccup I made with my plugin that messed up the AI script but just like that using zero brain power well maybe 5% to give it prompts just made a basic simulator just spice this up, give it a map, and hit publish. But, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and hope you guys enjoy using the AI. And yeah, see you in the next one.